Well, I've got an upcoming project where I'll be needing to do some sanding around radiuses, possibly center cuts like this example. Well, as you know, one thing leads to another. I got this sanding drum kit for the drill press from Harbor Freight, and it's going to be kind of hard even raising the table up to do the radius sandings and inside sandings. So what I thought I'd do is make a, a drum sanding table for the uh, drill press. So I laid out what roughly I think what it's going to be. It's, the table will be 12 inches long. This is the top. This will be a bottom. And I'm going to cut a square so that I would have the inserts for the different size drums I'm going to use. And to connect the top and bottom, I'm going to put a dado across it. Now before I cut the two pieces for the top and bottom, I'm going to put the dado in so it goes straight across both pieces before I cut. That way it'll be straight on. So let's do that. next step I want to put a little chamber in here with a dust attachment to catch the dust. Well, let's do that. There we go. Well, I want to cut a half circle around the top and bottom of the drum sander table. So that gets around half of this post. And 
while I had the hole saw out, I put a, I'm going to drill a hole that'll fit my shop vac hose. Nothing to it. Well, I drilled holes in all four corners, as you can see. Now I'll just use my jigsaw, cut out the opening. Well, now we'll put a rabbit around here that'll hold the my plate. Oh, just need to clean up some of the edges and we're good to go. So after drilling and routing my rabbit around the cutout, I squared off the corners with a chisel and then made the insert plate. That'll go in there and then what I'll do now is drill the cutout for the drum sander. Well the first hole I'll drill in the plate is I just picked this inch and a half drum sander and so what I'm going to do is got the inch and a half hole saw perfect so we'll just drill that Well, let's try it out. Got the vacuum all hooked up. Now I don't have it glued down yet. The uh, dados. And as I need each different size, I'll just cut a new plate. I might add, I made a small modification. I cut down the size of my pieces here. And the reason being, rather than take this drill press table off each time, I made it so that would fit right on the table. Well, I did end up gluing the sides into the dados. And my dust blocks also glued in and I should mention I even cocked around the edges to try to give it a little bit more airtight for the vacuum hose so we'll see how that works well there you have it my drum sanding table for the drill press now I'll use these sanding drum kit again from Harbor Freight. And we'll be all set for my next project. And that's going to be Adirondack chair. I've got the templates all cut out. 
No, I just... Is the arm. So we'll see what we can come up with that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on this project.